Let us understand details related to truncating tables. If you want to delete the data from a table entirely, then truncate is the fastest way to do so. Irrespective of size of the table, data can be cleaned up within no time. It is because the fact that it will play with the pointers and it will disconnect the table with the data. Whereas with delete, it will physically delete the data from the files, but it will not play with the pointers. That's why truncate is much, much faster when it comes to deleting the data entirely from the table compared to the delete statement. When it comes to truncate operations, it can be rolled back. It is contrary with other databases where truncates cannot be rolled back. Truncate is a DDL statement. In Postgres, DDL statements are not auto committed. In most of the databases, DDL statements are automatically committed. That's why in other databases, when you truncate the table, you will not be able to roll back to get the data back. One cannot truncate the table with only DML permissions. You need to have DDL permissions on the database so that you can actually truncate the data from the tables. As part of the web or mobile applications, we typically will not have truncate as part of the core logic. In data engineering or ETL applications, it is used more commonly to truncate intermediate or stage tables. If we have to truncate multiple related tables at the same time, then typically we truncate child tables first and then parent tables. We can also use cascade to truncate the data in child tables as well as in the parent. Let's perform few tasks to understand all the details with respect to truncate. In this case, I am trying to connect to the database. For that, I have to load SQL magic if it is not already loaded. And also, I have to define this environment variable called as database underscore URL so that my Jupyter Hub environment can actually connect to the database. It uses SQL Alchemy internally, which is nothing but a Python based library. Now, when I run this command, it will try to connect to the database and drop the table user logins if it exists. This will take care of dropping users table. This will take care of dropping the sequence. I am just cleaning up the sequence also. Now, when I run this command, it will create the table users with all the attributes that are specified. When it comes to user ID, it is the primary key. I am also creating a table called as user logins. User login ID is the primary key for this table. And user ID is foreign key to this user's user ID. And here is where I have defined the relationship by altering the table user logins by specifying foreign key on user ID, referencing users of user ID. Now, even though we haven't stored any data in any of these tables, still when I try to run this command truncate table users, it throws error saying that cannot truncate a table referenced in a foreign key constraint. You have to use cascade. You can see the hint here. It says use truncate cascade or truncate tables uh, user logins at the same time. So you can have a transaction and as part of the transaction, you can truncate the child table first and then the parent table and then commit or you have to use cascade so that the data in the child table is deleted first and then data in the parent table will be deleted. Let's insert some data into both the tables. So this will take care of inserting five records into users. Uh, we have three insert statements. These three insert statements will insert five records in the users. And this will take care of inserting six records into user logins. You can validate the data by running query against users as well as user logins. You can see user ID is either 1, 2, 3 or 4. There are 3 records with respect to 1. There are no records with respect to 5. However, there is a foreign key constraint between user ID in user logins and users. That's why it is able to insert the records because all these user IDs are there as part of the users already. Now, I should be able to run this command with cascade. If I do not have cascade, it will fail. Whether you have data or you do not have data, it doesn't matter. It will fail you have to just add cascade here and it will take care of truncating the data for us. Now, if you look at the data in users, we don't have any data. Same is the case with user logins. Now, if you want to truncate the tables in an order without cascade, then you have to perform steps in this manner. By default, when we use Jupyter Hub environment, each and every operation is automatically committed. There is a concept of transactions in uh, Postgres. However, we cannot begin the transaction using Jupyter Hub environment. That's why I am using the command line approach here. I am already connected to the database. You can actually see the list of tables here. We have users and also there should be user logins. Let me see. User logins also should be there. It is saying did not find any relation named user logins. I think it is under retail database. So let me connect it to the retail database here. And let me say slash D here. We have users as well as user logins. Now if I say truncate table users, it will fail. Saying that cannot truncate a table referenced in a foreign key constraint. Hint is truncate both at the same time or use truncate cascade. So one way to truncate both the tables at the same time is by saying begin transaction. 
it is a valid postgres command and then we can say truncate table user logins it is truncated successfully then we can say truncate table users it is still failing we need to understand how to truncate table user logins at the same time probably you can say users and user logins i am not sure whether it will work this doesn't work truncate table users comma user logins because i have started begin transaction as there was an error it is complaining i just have to say roll back or commit we can use either of them now we should be able to truncate both the tables at the same time so either we can say truncate table table names like this or we just have to use truncate table users cascade which will take care of truncating from the child table and then the truncation from the parent table which is nothing but users in this case so this is all about truncate statement which is primarily used to clean up the data from the table in the fastest possible way when it compared to delete to delete the data entirely from a given table as the data volume grows truncate will be much much faster when compared to delete